Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Guess what time of the month it is today? It is Doodlebug Collab Day. My friends Alma, Cheryl, and I host a Doodlebug Collab on the third Sunday of each month. We use hashtag Doodlebug and the first three letters of each month. So this month will be Doodlebug, J-U-L. Next month will be hashtag Doodlebug, A-U-G. If you want to join us, feel free to do so by posting a video, posting on your social media accounts like Instagram or Facebook, and just make sure to use the hashtag so that we can can find you so this month i chose seaside summer i brought in the whole kit and caboodle that i had um i felt like i was uh working with christmas um theme products this month and i felt like i was neglect neglecting summer so i chose this collection i worked with this collection last year when it came out and i still have a lot left over because when i buy my doodle bug collections i i buy like almost the whole um, release with probably the exception of the stamp sets. Um, I also brought in dies from Pretty Pink Posh, Lawn Fawn, Mama Elephant, cardstock from Stampin' Up, which is Flirty Flamingo, Call Me Clover, and Crumb Cake. I also um, brought in puffy stickers, the three packs of ephemera that matches the collection, six by six paper pad, um, trying to think here mini icon stickers the regular icon stickers so you'll see me use these um, products on my cards um, this is the only time I did use the puffy stickers is on this card I also want to mention that I used um, MFT sketches to help inspire me to create my cards I will um, post that on my blog post which I will link down below now this card right here would be really cute if it was a shaker card but I didn't make a shaker card um, because I I really wanted to see what it would look like like this because you know I have puffy stickers in here so I was afraid like if I made a shaker card it would probably get stuck in between the puffy stickers because it's puffy but um, I will just probably um, use double foam tape if um, I decide to make it again um, or I'll use the mini icon stickers and then for the second card right here I really love this die set I hardly use this die set um, this one is from pretty pink posh called um, window frame and at first I was just gonna put the sun there in the in a simple sentiment but then I found these palm trees and I like how it hugged the die and it's hugging the sun like so it looks like a little sunset so I really love that look and that finishes up card two and then card three this one is going to be a flower cluster card and I according to the sketch you know this is how they want it to look you know you cut the paper in, in the middle and then leave a little gap in between like a little space but um, you'll see that it really didn't matter if it was like that because I would be covering that up. I also want to mention that our community of people joining us on our Doodlebug collab is slowly growing. I'm really happy that um, a lot of crafters are joining us on our Doodlebug collab days. It's really fun to see your projects and your creations. It's very inspiring. It makes me smile. Um, so be sure to click on that hashtag above so that you can um, see other people's projects and um, it, it is truly inspiring. So thank you to those who are joining us and those who are watching us and supporting our love for Doodlebug. So as you can see here, I'm trimming the banner off of the sentiment and I kind of regret doing this, but at the same time, I didn't like the banner on the card. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, it didn't matter because I didn't like the banner and I didn't like it this way, but I'm already committed and so I just left it as is. I think maybe if the banner was shorter i would probably like it i just feel like it's too long and it was covering up that red flower too much 
Here's a really fun card. I am going to create a underwater scene here. I popped up the top and bottom uh, pattern paper with some foam tape and the blue pattern paper is going to act as my water scene. So I have the brown pattern paper on the bottom and then the orange one at the top. Now I am using mini icon stickers in, in the middle and look at how cute that little jellyfish is and the cute little fish. Um, I wish I had thought of adding some puffy stickers in between but you know I can always replicate this not a problem. And then I'm just going to put that little simple hello at, on the bottom right and add some of the epoxy dot stickers and that completes the card. And now we're going to work on card five. Now this is a, one of my favorite cards. I have two favorite cards in this um, 10 cards uh, process video. This is one of them. I like this card because I use sketch. I mean, not sketch. I use scraps. Anytime I use scraps on any card, it is so satisfying. It it just, I don't know. I just love the feeling of using scraps and um, not having to throw them away. But for the life of me, I can't center these strips. I even centered my um, panel there on my mat. And it's still not centered, but luckily this cent this circle will cover up that huge gap that you see there between the green and the blue. And then on the sketch, it um, has a tab on the right side like you see there. So I put that there, but I felt like it was um, had a lot of, uh, I guess, blank space there. So I'm I was thinking, OK, I need to put something there. I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiment on the bottom have a beautiful day and I tried to pick sentiments that were appropriate for sending out not like summer our summer's great you know because doodle because doodlebug does that for like scrapbooking purposes um so I wanted to pick sentiments that say thank you happy birthday you know generic stuff like that all right so as you can see here I added those hearts to kind of um cover up all that um, wide open space and that completes card five and then card six this one is uh, another fun card I rounded the corners at the top left the corners regular at the bottom um, I chose a circle to kind of break up the busyness of that pattern paper and then I'm going to add this uh, ephemera here. I'm trying to uh, make it go up higher because I wanted that little seagull to cover the bottom. Um, that way it'll look like it's like, I don't know. It, it was just awkward looking if I didn't cover it up. And then I'm going to add this pelican. I popped up the pelican. Have you guys ever seen a pelican in real life? They're huge. I remember when I was in elementary school and we went on a field trip and I remember seeing the pelican and I was like, oh my gosh, they have a huge mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Elementary schooler me saying, oh my gosh, that pelican has a huge mouth. <laughs> All right, on to card seven. This is my second most favorite card. I remember when I showed my mom my cards, I was like, mom, do you want to choose your cards? Because usually I'll let her choose two cards for if I make like 10 cards but I'm like except you can't choose this which is the scraps card and this card because I really fell in love with this one um so I really feel like that coral completes this card I try to search my ephemera packs if I had any more coral because I wanted to recreate this card but I guess I used it up last year because I don't have any more of those corals um and can you guess why I love this card, you guys? If you guessed turtle, you guessed right. Isn't that turtle so cute? It's so adorable. My oldest daughter, she ordered, um, well, actually, I paid for it, or my husband and I did, but she wanted to try crocheting. And there's this um, company called Woobles, and 
they're not cheap you guys they are not cheap just saying but she really wanted to give it a try actually me and her we wanted to learn how to crochet because I don't know how and um they have like cute stuffed um I guess animals that you can make she picked a tiger uh an owl I forget the other two but um there was a frog on the website that I wanted to create but I'm just like I'm a slow learner when it comes to that stuff the only thing I probably know how to do is knit a scarf um but at, when I saw her progress when she with her tiger I was like wow it looks so cute and if she can do it why can't I so I might give it a try so have you guys ever tried woobles before all right so now on to the next card this is a really cute card because when i see crabs in a summer scene or a summer theme card it just really screams summer to me especially beach themed cards and i really for some reason i really love crabs on a summer themed card um i don't have a lot of stamps with crabs in it can you guys recommend a stamp set with crabs in it? I know MFT has one, but I think it retired. And I didn't cut off the left part of that sentiment because I just like the way it looked. I don't know. It just looks complete to me. And then for card nine, I am using, again, the Pretty Pink Posh um, Scallop Border. I'm going to link the stuff that I used some may be retired because I know this scallop border is really old as well as the window frame I used with the sun and palm trees but I will link it and usually what I'll do is if it's no longer for sale on the websites that I buy from I will just say um, retired or I will say no longer sold at the um, stores that I trust because I don't ever want to link you guys a store that I don't buy from, you know, because I, I want to give you guys a legit store that, you know, I've bought from and trust. All right. So I felt like the pink and orange flower, it was getting lost on that pink background. So I added the white flowers and I felt like it really made it pop. And since my sentiment is kind of getting lost because it's really small, I decided to add these um, hearts to draw your eye on, on the sentiment as well. So that finishes up card nine. And now we're on our final card, card 10. I'm really patting myself on the back, you guys, that I'm chatting on this whole video. I'm trying um, to get myself used to talking more. Sometimes it's hard to talk when, um, when I make 10 cards because because I run out of things to say. That's why I go go off subject. But my friends, my crafty friends always say they love it when I talk because even when I babble, because it keeps their attention. Like, so I hope that um, I kept your attention. <laughs> All right. So look at that cute little crab, you guys. And then for the last finishing touch, I added the sun and that will complete card 10. Well, that completes my process video for the 10 cards. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comment section below. You know, I love reading all of your comments and responding to you. I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch and supporting our uh, Doodlebug collab. Um, I hope that you will visit the others who are joining and show them some love as well. Thank you for spending your time with me on this Sunday morning because I posted it at 7. And um, I will see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.